What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Reverie. My name is Jack and I hope you're having a good day because I know I am. I'm sitting in my new $400 car. Yes, not just any car. It's a Volkswagen and it's a manual and it's a GTI. That means it's turboed. That's right, I spent 400 doubloons on a non-running car. You what? Which I mean isn't bad. I could always scrap it, like the scrapyard to take them for 400 bucks, but if I can get this thing running, that'll be a huge come up. Oh my God! Now, if you're not new to the channel, you've probably seen this car before, but if you are, let me show you it. On the outside, it is a little rough. First of all, it's spray painted. We got this very nice blue spray paint job. Look at that orange peel. Very nice. <laughs> and uh, it's not even fully covered. Like right here, you can see, as well as right there, as obvious. So it'll need a respray, definitely, or a wrap. Now this car was red, as you can see in the inside, and then it was spray painted blue. Um, that rattles a lot. Like when I slam that, I think it's because it's missing this right here, but it's it's in the car. I just gotta find out how to put it on, but like, listen to this. Ooh, like I'm lucky that doesn't break the glass. Anyway, we got some smoked tail lights, some uh, go fast bits, I guess. If you saw the other video, a springboard exhaust that shakes the entire car at least i know it's hooked up it's got a window that's not fully in that's uh flex taped on now that's a lot of damage some sweet rotors that are totally not rusted and some pink calipers one thing i actually found pretty cool was this badge delete if you can see under here there is there's some bondo here and they actually took the standard badge off and filled that in uh, on the hood and as well as got a grill to match so it, it, it's just a seamless sort of just two slats is it two yeah two or three slats it's not bad it has a golf r bumper and uh the i believe the golf r's also had the the two uh exits out the back uh normal gti's would have one there and one there but the golf r's are in the middle so it's a wannabe golf r but it still has just the 2.0 with the base turbo. I think it's stage two, but nothing else special about it. That's really nice right there. I love that. Oh, that's cracked. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Oh, okay. This must be an aftermarket thing. Look, it's, uh, there's no, no red under it. It's just black. So this must be a full aftermarket bumper, I guess. Is this a Golf R Mimic bumper? Maybe? I guess maybe that's why they resprayed it. Now the overall condition of the body is pretty rough, but the engine is not terrible. Are you sure about that? At first, I thought it was uh, a blown head gasket, but turns out I'm like 90% sure it's not because look at this. You can see the oil is black, not milky. It is pretty dark though, so I, oops, I'd have to get it replaced or, or change the oil rather. Now I didn't want to buy a total lemon, so I looked at it before I bought it and I, I'll tell you the story in a little bit of how I got it for so cheap and why it's at my shop right now. I discovered, the previous owner didn't know about this, the turbo down there, if you notice, do you hear that? That is loose, like look at it shake. That is uh, not a bolted on turbo, but I honestly don't think it's that bad. I think I can just bolt up the turbo uh, get all this stuff hooked up right like this is broken off just a couple things here and there like I don't know if it holds coolant because uh, it's got none and um, the uh, the battery is completely shot so I'd, I can borrow probably Nevin's battery not awful for 400 bucks honestly I um I don't know what I expected for 400 bucks I need to put that bumper on um, it's just missing uh, the uh, bol bolts there this is actually Gavin's hair tie, or I think Gavin's girlfriend's hair tie that has been stretched. Yeah, I, I put that on there. Gotta love that JDM Expert right there on a Euro car. That's amazing. These stickers are very interesting in this car. So we've got static, because switches are for bitches. And then around the back, we got, I assume just some parts, EP Auto House, Go Fast Bits. And then um, I guess I'll take you on a Take you on a little interior tour. We've got, oh lovely, a hammer to open up 
the hood. We've got broken hearted and blessed. Love that. Some nice gauges actually. Tomorrow I'm gonna get a battery hooked up to this and see if I can pull it inside and then do an overview on how I got it. So cheap, uh, the story of how I bought it and what my plans are for it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. But for you, it'll be like a second. So I forgot to bring my SD card for my camera. So I'm recording on my phone. So I hope this is all right. But I replaced the battery. Um, this is just one I found in the shop randomly. It has the same uh, cold cranking amps. So I think we're good. Uh, I did start it just to see if it would work and it does. It runs a little rough, but I think I can start it and drive it enough to get it into the shop. I gotta avoid this. And I also have to take this bumper off because it's dragging, but hopefully I should be able to get it into the shop tonight. Check out this quick release bumper. Bam, wait, bam, and bam. Boom, quick release, let's go. Now that the bumper's off, I can close the hood and get it into the shop. It's got these little blue lights in there. I guess he wanted to, really wanted to go with the blue pattern instead of the red. Anyway, let's see if we can do this. Okay, we got every light under the dash, airbag service, I saw coolant. There's no coolant in it, so hopefully it won't die. Um, let's see, first gear, e-brake off, and let me start it. Oof, something's locked up. It was in first gear. It just wasn't going forward. Let me try it again. Not moving. Let me check if anything's like locked up. It's probably these ratty ass brakes. Look at these. They're probably stuck. Is my wheel moving at all? Okay, these are just as bad. Try, try again. Oh, we're moving. Okay, we moved. Let's go. All right, that's progress. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God. We got it. Woo! Listen to that chop. <laughs> yes. Success. We've got it into the shop. Now time to fix every single issue with it because this thing has a lot of problems as you could hear. Okay, it is now the third day of filming this video and let's wrap it up right here with the question you have probably been asking. How did I get this thing for so freaking cheap? Well, it's a little bit of a, a it's not a long story, but it's a medium sized story. So I went to a tech school uh, and I had a couple friends. One of my friends bought this car for pretty cheap, not running and trailered it to the tech school. Me and another friend saw it and we thought it was pretty cool and we wanted to buy it from him. So uh, he said he'd sell it to us for 500 bucks. Me and that other buddy, we, we were going to go half in. I didn't quite have 250 cash laying around so I figured I would do the work for it and he would pay for the car. Um, it ended up being 400 bucks that they paid him uh, they just settled on that, I guess, and uh, we trailered it to out back of the shop, and uh, that video is right here. I recorded all that. Uh, that's all That's all logged and everything, or vlogged, I guess you could say. A couple months went by, and nothing really happened with it. We, uh, we never met up to f work on it, and uh, what happened was it became the beginning of summer, and I just wanted this car out of here. So I texted him, uh, the guy I went half in on with it, or, or half in on with it. I said, hey, get this off my property. <laughs> in, in the nicest way possible, I, I didn't want it here anymore. Um, and no hate to this guy at all. I'm still friends with him. You know who you are, thanks for being cool. Um, but anyway, I told him, hey, I don't want this car on my property. Either trailer it away or sell it to me for cheap. 
He said uh, the lowest he'll go was a thousand dollars, and which I I know how much he paid for it. I knew it wasn't worth a thousand dollars. Without me saying anything, he went down to eight hundred, and then I believe he went down to six hundred, and then I, I told him, look, this car you're not gonna have time to work on it. You're already working. Uh, I think he's working a couple jobs, if I remember correctly. He's not gonna have time to work on this thing, especially with all the things that are wrong with it. So I told him, look, I'll pay, I'll give you what you have into it. It'll, it'll stay at the shop, I'll fix it, and everything will be clean and dandy. He ended up accepting that offer, look, uh, just getting the money he had into it out of it. It is mine now. So we went through the complicated process of reverse title hopping it uh, two times. So it had been title hopped from uh, the previous, previous owner to the guy that sold it to us to, and then hopped again from, uh, I don't even know if I can legally say. Anyway, just, it had been twice title hopped. So we had to undo that. And I ended up buying it. Really, I actually bought it for $191 because I, my dad covered one of the title transfers, uh, one of two title transfers, and then I ended up paying the second title transfer. So technically I skipped out on one of the title transfers and I ended up buying it for $191 plus the amount of a title transfer subtracted from the 400, so which ended up being $191. Anyway, I'm, I, this sounds way too complicated. I bought the car for $191, basically. 400 total, including the transfer. I would say I'm quite happy with this purchase. It's not a bad car for $400. I mean, it starts and it moves, kinda. Uh, I actually think it has a blown head gasket. I literally just discovered this, um, like the other day. But uh, in this right here, sorry you got a really weird angle, but it is super milky in there. Like, uh, I don't know if you can see, but this has, uh, you can't really see it, but I'll get a close-up photo of it, and uh, it's pretty damn milky. And I'll have to drain the oil to see if it actually is a uh, blown head gasket, but uh, we'll see. My plans for this build is to build the car, uh, not, not like built motor or anything, but just build it to be nice, uh, repaint it, maybe... Uh, Maybe Plasti Dip It, um, a matte color. I'll make it nice, fix everything mechanically that's wrong with it. I don't know, I wanna keep it for a little bit. I wanna flip it, I wanna trade it. I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do. Cause I can make quite a bit of money off of this seeing as I only spent like $400 on it. I could probably make a lot of profit. Let me take you guys down from here and do the outro. Uh, this, <laughs> I wish you could see how I'm holding this camera cause it's ridiculous. I'm like gripping the tripod by its two legs and it looks wild. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to work on this thing for quite a while. Uh, I'll keep making videos on it. Thank you guys all for watching. Merch at RevRain.com. More things to come, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.